If you are planning to sell photos online, WooCommerce will be a great platform to help you manage it. You will be able to create photo galleries and make the photos shoppable just like any other e-commerce product. Moreover, you will be able to restrict access to clients so that individual customers can access their own private gallery and choose photos. In this video, we will show you how to set up a WooCommerce photography site. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. WooCommerce is one of the most popular options to create an e-commerce site. Please check out our video with detailed instructions that will help you set up a WooCommerce store from scratch. Photographers would want to sell a collection of photos that are part of an event like a wedding, or sell individual photos as artworks. You can easily integrate additional features relevant to a photography website with the help of the WooCommerce Photography plugin. The plugin offers a great option to batch upload photographs and help streamline the entire process of organizing and selling photos online. Customers will be able to browse through their collections and choose the photos they want to purchase. Here is how you can set up the plugin. Once you install and activate the plugin, the settings can be accessed from the WordPress admin panel through a section called Photography. One of the first steps would be to set the collection thumbnail and lightbox size. This will determine how photos are displayed on the site's front end. To be able to sell photos online using this plugin, you will have to add those photos to collections. Collections are like categories that you can create separately. You can also create a collection while uploading photographs. Once the plugin is installed, you will be able to create collections by going to Photography Collections. Creating a collection is more or less similar to creating categories in WooCommerce. You need to enter a name, slug, and an optional description to the collection. Here you can also add the new collection to a parent collection, and upload a thumbnail image. Here you also need to specify the visibility settings for each collection. In the settings, you will find two options to choose from, public or restricted. Any user on your site will be able to access the public collections. Whereas, only users who are provided access in their user profiles will be able to view photos under a restricted collection. The main advantage of this plugin is that you can bulk upload a collection of photos instead of individually uploading them. If you want to individually upload photos, you can add them using the default product settings for WooCommerce. For batch upload, go to Photography, add photographs, and add as many photos you want. You can specify a SKU pattern, which will assign a unique identifier to your photos in a series. You can also assign a global price for photographs, which can be changed later in the individual product settings if needed. Also, you have to assign the batch of photos to a collection. If you have not created any collections before this step, or you want to create a new collection for the batch, you can manage it here. You can create user profiles for customers with the default WooCommerce settings. Go to Users, Add New, to create a new customer profile. While creating a user profile for a customer, you can assign them to collections. For example, if you have created a restricted collection specific to one customer, you can provide access to that customer through their user profile. Now customers will be able to view the collections they have access to in their respective My Account section. And they will be able to easily select photos and add them to cart for purchase. You can try out an alternate approach to create a WooCommerce photography site with two plugins, WooCommerce Product Table and WooCommerce Protected Categories. Let's see more. You can add photos one by one as WooCommerce products. You can mark them as downloadable in the Product Data Meta Box if you are selling only digital copies. Also, you can create variable products with different resolutions or formats of the same image as variations. 
If you want to bulk upload, you can either use an FTP program to upload images, and then a WooCommerce product import plugin to upload them as WooCommerce products. Or, you can use the Feed Them Gallery plugin to manage this more easily. With the WooCommerce product table plugin, you will be able to display larger images and add more details to each image. Your customers will be able to choose and add multiple photos to the cart in bulk rather than adding individual ones. Using the WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin, you can password protect the images by specifying different passwords for different categories. This means that users can enter the password and access their photos. Also, they will be redirected to the right category based on the password they enter. You can incorporate a bunch of additional features to your WooCommerce site for security and better customer experience. We will take a look at some of the important ones. When you are selling images in a WooCommerce photography site, you can use the Watermark Pro plugin to protect images that you sell. It will help you add custom watermarks to your product images in five different positions. You will also be able to customize the size, color, width, opacity, etc. of the watermark. You can set the plugin to automatically add watermarks to any image that you upload to your site. And the watermark can be easily removed without affecting the quality of the original photo. A quick view window will be a user-friendly way to present more product details to your customers. WooCommerce Quick View Pro is a popular option for your photography site, especially if you are using the WooCommerce Product Table plugin. It will help you include multiple images in a product gallery lightbox. Large-sized image files may lead to increased loading times and reduced user experience. To avoid this, you can use an image optimization tool such as OptiMole. It has options for automatic image optimization and lazy loading to improve the user experience. Moreover, it uses an image CDN and serves images according to the user's viewport. You will be able to quickly create image and video sliders using Soliloquy. It is responsive, and will work seamlessly on all devices including desktops, tablets and mobiles. The plugin lets you create dynamic sliders using your blog posts, testimonials, social media images, etc. There are several templates that you can use to easily customize the user interface on your site. Another interesting feature of the plugin is that it allows slideshow display in a lightbox. You can effectively use this plugin on your photography store as it seamlessly integrates with WooCommerce. Feed Them Gallery is a great plugin that will help you enhance the appearance of your image gallery significantly. It offers four different layouts that you can use to display images in your photography site. Once you have configured galleries, you can easily convert them into WooCommerce products. You can even create individual photos into WooCommerce products if that suits your business model. The plugin lets you upload unlimited images to each gallery. It also offers image protection features such as watermark options and disable right clicks. NextGen Gallery is one of the most popular options in the WordPress plugin repository to create image galleries. You will be able to batch upload photos effortlessly, which will be a feature that most photographers will be looking out for. There are three different layout styles available, which can be further customized with interesting styles and effects. With the pro version of the plugin, you will get better support for your e-commerce store as well. Don't forget to check out LearnWoo's WordPress tutorial that will help you understand all the essential aspects involved in setting up a website or an e-commerce store. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce.
Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on our social media channels. Do let us know in the comments section if you want us to cover a specific topic, or if you have any ideas or suggestions.